So one of the ways that I prefer to keep the tool from wrapping around the front is to actually add something to the front. Actually, in this case, we're going to also add something to the back. So we're basically going to extend our solid a little bit or add a new piece to the front and back of this solid. Before we do that, we're going to want to create some new geometry. So I'm going to go to Create, Curve. I want to create curves on all edges. And then I want to be able to select from my solid. So I'll activate Solid Selection. And I'm going to turn off Body so that I'm only grabbing a face. So I'm doing a Create Curves on all edges of a solid face. And I'm going to pick this face on the front. And I'm going to rotate this around and pick this face on the back. And we'll OK that. So now I have curves on the front and the back. Now I'm going to go to my solids and do an extrude. And I want to grab this chain on the front going counterclockwise so it'll extrude out this way. And I want to grab this chain on the back side going clockwise so it'll extrude in that direction. And we'll OK this. We can see our arrows pointing out or away from the model. I want to create a new body for each one of those. And I want to extend that out by a distance of a quarter inch. And we'll OK that. So there's the extensions for our part. Now we're going to go back into our parameters. And we're going to go to our collision control. And we're going to set those as our check surfaces. So I'm going to select this solid on the back and this solid on the front. And we'll say End Selection. And we're just going to leave 1,000 stock on there. So we're basically going to cut up to that, but we're not actually going to cut it. When you have a value of zero, Mastercam will give you a message that tells you the cut surfaces and check surfaces are the same. So the idea is you're cutting up to a check surface. If the value is zero, you will actually be cutting the check surface. So it's kind of giving you a warning, letting you know. One thousandths is fine for what we're doing. Everything else is going to be the same. I'm going to say OK and regenerate my toolpath. Turn my toolpath display back on and we can see that it's now cutting across without rolling over the edge on the front. Now let's take a quick look at this in Verify. So we'll start this so you can see it cutting back and forth a little bit. But I'm going to stop this for right now and we're just going to hit fast forward. So there's the completed part. All the roughing is done. We've got 60,000 stock, or approximately that. You can see there's uh, some areas that didn't get cut from the rough cut. But we're going to save this as an STL file. So it says rotary twist part. And I'm just going to call that rough. I'm going to add the word rough to that name. 